My name is Luke Kurtza, and I believe that everyone should save and invest their money from an early age. When you're young, you like to spend money. It makes you feel good, it gives you dopamine, and you're not really thinking about retirement. However, you should be. I have this chart here that shows people who invested $5,000 annually at different points in their life. Susan invested $5,000 from the ages 25 to 35. She invested $50,000 total and was left with $602,000 in her savings. Bill invested $5,000 from 35 to 65 and was left with $540,000. However, Chris, Chris invested $25,000 Chris invested $5, from the ages 25 all the way to 65. He invested a total of $200,000, but it left him with $1.1 million in his savings. And I know what you're thinking, $1.1 million is plenty of money to live off for the rest of my life. A million dollars, that's all I ever need. This chart shows the realities of how much retirement costs. Chris invested $200,000 for 40 years. And he can only make, and he only lives off of fifty thousand dollars a year annually, on the upside. In order for most people to live comfortably and lavishly how they want to, you would need around one point seven five million dollars stored for your retirement, and that is a lot of money. And I think most people should start worrying about that now, instead of worrying about it in the future. I was just like most of you. I didn't care about my retirement. It's what, 40 years away, 30 years away. I don't even know what I'm doing next weekend or next week. And that doesn't really matter to me right now. However, I started watching some YouTube videos and reading some books and it kind of really just was a reality check to me. It, it made me realize, wow, this is going to happen no matter what. This is a part of my life and I should really be prepared for it. And so now that I've told you that you should prepare for your retirement, I've never told you how. So that's where 401ks and Roth IRAs come into play. Certain companies like Publix offer 401ks, which allow you to have certain investments that will help save your money and even make you more money. 401ks are investments, like I said, stocks and money markets, and they will help you keep the purchasing power of your dollar by hopefully beating the inflation rate. That might not be the case now because inflation is at 10%. However, most of the time, it will help you keep the purchasing power of your dollar. Roth IRAs are basically the same thing, except they are not, your company does not provide them to you. You also prepay the tax on Roth IRAs, so by the time you're older and you take out the money that you are either earned or just saved, it will all be, you can just take it out. You won't have to pay a tax. And I know that it, retirement is so far in the future for many of us, and we're not even thinking, we're, we're mainly focused about what we're gonna get on this test or this speech, but it is something that you should look, look out for because it is a part of your future that will happen whether you like it or not. If you want to learn more about the things I've told you today, here are the sources that I used and I really think that you should look into more about it because I gave you a, a general, like, general summary of the millions of information out there. So I encourage you all to do your own research, but definitely start preparing for the future because soon enough it's going to be the present. Thank you.